Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today's project is going to be Scarlet Concentric Circles. Start by centering your shirt using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. Once you have your shirt centered and all smoothed out, using a washable marker and a piece of kite string, mark out your pattern. Now you want to pleat fold along these lines, making these lines as straight as possible, and I would say that these pleats are probably about a half inch tall. For this project, I decided I'm going to secure it by using kite string, but if you don't have kite string and all you have is rubber bands, that would work too. Continue working on your pleats and securing it with kite string as you go, and then just work your way all the way down to the end. As you get down more towards the end, the pleats are going to start to become quite tall, and so what you want to do is you want to start incorporating secondary pleats in there. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that so I'm trying to keep all of the pleats similar in height. Don't forget about my social media links that are listed down below in the description box and all of the stuff that I use for tie-dye is also listed down there so you want to check that out. I do have Instagram and I also have TikTok so for those of you that have Instagram and TikTok, if you follow me, I will follow you back. Now that we're back at the beginning, you just want to secure it with a simple double knot. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the die. And since this is an ice die, you need to build yourself some type of an ice barrier. And for this project, I'm using foil. I also like to use the silicone cake molds, which I have listed down below in the description box, but all of them were in use at the moment. And this is just the single color Scarlet Red, and it is going to go into the playlist of Dharma Dye Swatches. And if you haven't checked out that playlist, I highly recommend it. It's a very useful tool to see what the colors are capable of. And I wasn't going to do these on inclines, but I decided to give this one a try. This cooling rack has only like, I think it's about a one inch lift 
So it's a very subtle incline. Next, grab a mask and give your project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. And if you noticed, I only put the soda ash where I put the dye. And then go ahead and pack on your ice. And this is the Frigidaire Nugget Ice, and I absolutely love my ice machine. And Christmas is coming up, you guys, so you can go hint, hint to your partner and maybe you'll get one for Christmas. And then you wanna cover it and batch it for 48 hours after the ice melts. I came back and checked the back after the ice had melted and there was a lot of dye showing through on the other side so I just left it alone and now it's been the 48 hours so it's time for the rinse out. And look at all that pretty orange. So you want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. And you want to focus on making sure that you get all of the soda ash out of the white areas so that way if there is any soda ash left you're not going to get a lot of dye back. And then I take it to the washing machine and I do two hot water cycles using Synthropol and I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft to bring softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well here it is guys, here's our Scarlet Concentric Circles Ice Dye after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out amazing. It's like way better than I thought it was going to be. I had no idea that Scarlet split into all this pretty orange tones. I use Scarlet Red for ice dyeing but I usually pack it on with all the other rainbow colors so I had no idea. It's absolutely beautiful and the incline gave it a really cool effect. So I think I'm gonna try this again with some of the other colors because it's really, really pretty. And then here are all the close-up shots. And as you can see, there's just this fiery red that turns into orange and it's kind of like flames almost. So I think it's really stunning and I'm gonna use it a lot more. So I'll just let you check these out. And then at the very end, there is the liquid swatch against the ice dye so that you're able to see the difference between liquid dye and ice dye. So overall though, what do you guys think of Scarlet Red? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.